This tutorial focuses on the concept of how to create a dashboard using SAP Business Objects Dashboard Design. To navigate the tutorial, use the controls at the bottom of the screen. Note that this tutorial includes audio. Dashboard Design provides a full range of features that enable you to create powerful, dynamic dashboards, from accessing your source data and presenting it in various ways, to publishing the completed dashboard so that it can be viewed by your target user group. In this tutorial, you will review the process for creating a basic dashboard using dashboard design. The first step to creating a dashboard is to populate the embedded spreadsheet with your data, which will be mapped to the components in your dashboard. You can enter the data directly, create a query to a universe, and insert the content into selected cells, import an existing spreadsheet, or connect to portal data, XML, web services, or other external data sources. Once the spreadsheet is populated, add the components for your dashboard and bind them to the data. Use a chart to display a range of related data for a single item, or set up a selector to enable the dashboard's users to change the data that displays to show data from multiple items. Calculate totals for your data in your spreadsheet and use a single value component such as a gauge or a progress bar to show individual values. or add formulas to your data that enable you to perform what-if analysis by inputting a single value, such as a projected increase in a rate of sales, and displaying the results in another component. You can also use the selector to trigger dynamic visibility for a component or group of components, which enables you to make components visible or invisible based on the user's selection so that multiple objects can occupy the same space on the dashboard. To polish the look of your dashboard, you can add text and graphics using the label and image components, apply a theme or a color scheme, or manually change the appearance of the components, or set up conditional formatting to alert you when values fall above or below specific thresholds. Finally, make the dashboard available to the individuals who need the information by exporting it to the platform or to another portable format, such as standalone flash, PDF, Word document, PowerPoint presentation, or email attachment. You have successfully reviewed the process for creating a dashboard. This is the end of the tutorial.